Okay, today we'll be opening up this used Mobile One oil filter number M1-102A. And a very generous viewer whose name is Michael from Clear Lake City, Texas, sent me this used mobile oil filter. Thanks, Michael. This filter was in service for 12,459 miles and came off of Michael's 2015 Ford Transit Connect XLT. Yep, the one with a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine. He was using Mobile One Extended Performance 5W20 full synthetic oil during this period. We also have a Blackstone Lab oil analysis to look at. So let's get started. Let's just set that word. You got a really good silicone, be nice and tight. Get your hand in here. Filtration. Okay, so before we open this filter up, let's take a quick look at it. Date code F09N20D2. Made in USA. And this is a sticker. And this filter has eight inlet holes. Looks to be a silicone and drain back valve. A metal core with louvers. Bypass valve down below. And about five grooves there for threads. And a nitro rubber gasket. It's pretty thick. Take a look at this later on. It was on it pretty good. Okay, let's open this filter up and see what it looks like. Stickers coming off. A little bit of oil, not bad. Got to side base plate. Yeah, that all looks good. Silicone and drain back valve. That's good too. I'll clean it up, see how it looks after. But yeah, nice, nice and springy. Oh, like this. Yeah, that looks good. Covers up the holes nice. Filter element. Okay, metal end caps look clean. As far as no glue. Bypass valve. It's working. Yep, no extra glue on this one that I see. Metal crimp seam. A little crooked, but that's okay. I'll put the number of pleats on the screen. Yeah, nicely spaced. Looks good. Inside we got a stamp leaf spring. And there's no uh no sludging or anything after twelve thousand miles, that's pretty good. Yeah, it looks real good. Yeah, let's get some measurements. Get the can. You know these are about point three something usually. Oh, I got that on. Oh, I got it way off here. Sorry about that. Point three eight. Yeah, that's about what they usually are. And the width. 2.2 inches even. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty clean. That's that. There's no no extra glue, no sludging, no nothing. They actually got the oil's got a nice color to it. Okay, let's take this filter. We'll squeeze it out, stretch it out, see how it looks. Plus, we have got a oil analysis to look at. So I'll be right back. Okay, here's this mobile filter all stretched out. And this mobile filter is 52 and a half inches long. Okay. 
So let's start with this oil report, and it actually looks pretty good. I'm not going to read all this, but they're telling Michael that it's a good report. They're actually telling him to go try up to go to 14,000 miles, which I really wouldn't recommend, but that's me. So we'll start here with the aluminum. You got five, universal is four, so that's pretty much right in there. And aluminum is, uh, and aluminum can come from piston skirts and bearings. You got chromium zero, iron ten which universal average is eight. Iron is all throughout the engine, so it could come from almost anywhere. You got 10-1, that's really nothing. I wouldn't even worry about that. Molly Denim, 99, that's a pretty good number. That's an anti-wear additive. Let's go down here. And these are all zeros, nickel, magnesium. Yes, yeah, so I wouldn't worry about that. Boron, 33. Universal average is 53. And boron is a detergent additive. And silicon is 17. Universal is 14. And silicon can come from loosely fitted air filters. It can also come from some work that you use uh, silicon as a gasket sealer. Sodium 7. Universal is 36. And that can be in some oils as a corrosion inhibitor. Could also come from antifreeze. But that's a low number, so I wouldn't worry about it. Calcium 726. Universal 1569. And calcium is a detergent additive. Magnesium 702, universal 421. And magnesium keeps the, the carbon soot in suspension so that your filter can catch it. Phosphorus, we got 689, universal 695, so that's right in there. And that's another anywhere additive. And we got zinc at 790, and universal 792, so that's right in there also. And that's also another anti-wear additive. All these numbers are parts per million, by the way. And let's look at the viscosity numbers. So at 210 Fahrenheit, it's 52.5. So it fit, fits right in there, 46 to 59. At 100 Celsius, it's 8.04. It also fits right in there. And I looked this up. I looked up the new unused oil on Mobile's website. And they rate this oil as 100 Celsius. It would be a an uh, 8 there instead so that's pretty much right in there and we got a flash point of 395 and I also looked up that number and on their website the new oil has a flash point of 455 so you can tell there's probably a little bit of fuel in there which actually it says right here 0.5 antifreeze 0, water 0, insolubles 3, TBN 2 I wouldn't want to go below 2 actually for the TBN, so I wouldn't be pushing 14,000 miles. So what do you guys think about this report? I think it's pretty good. 12,500 miles. I'm assuming that's a lot of highway miles. Okay, so let's look at the filter. Yeah, there, this here. Get you guys up a little closer if I can here. And you can see this filter, very clean. It's real clean on the outside. There's no soot, carbon, no spark bleeds. Yeah, it looks really clean. Now let's get the thickness of this filter media. 0.69 millimeters thick. This is the filtering side, back side. And you can see that it's really clean, clean on the outside. Under the microscope, you'll see that it did catch some uh, carbon and soot though. Let's take a look at that picture. So as you can see, like the outside of this is, is clean, but the filter did catch some stuff inside. It's inside probably mostly. There's no light coming through. Now let's take a look at the rest of the filter. Okay, so the gasket here, we got a pretty thick gasket. It's all looks good. Any drain back valve. It's got some little, little I'd say indentations in it. See that? From the base plate because these these base plate these holes which are pretty thick look at the thickness on that it's a nice thick base plate but they're sharp these these holes are sharp so when it's sitting on there like that and it's all you know the filters element is pushing against it 
um, it leaves those little marks. Luckily, it, you know, it's not torn or anything, so that's good. But this is a heavy-duty base plate. It's a nice base plate. Stamp leaf spring. Looks fine. And we got metal core with louvers. Let's take a look at those louvers. They look kind of dark. You know, the holes, but I think that's because it's still got some oil in it, you know. I didn't really clean them good. But they looked open up. Yeah, they're, they're nice. They're opened up fine. They're definitely going to let oil through. In the can. You put the light back on. There you go. Can's pretty clean inside. I had it just sitting like this for about an hour. And, uh, yeah, it's it's nice and clean. It's you know the thickness. It's about average thickness. So I think this mobile oil filter and mobile oil did a pretty good job on uh, Michael's engine. The oil report looked pretty good. And again, I want to thank Michael for sending me this used mobile oil filter and oil analysis report. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.